Here we go, another good episode, Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 6, Episode 8. Let's get started. And if you would consider leaving me a thumbs up on YouTube, that'd be much appreciated, and subscribe. First, we'll look at the contestants. Isn't that a fantastic drawing? Wow. Unbelievable. So th these are the portraits that, the self-portraits that they did in order to get on the program. I love a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I have added one from time to time in a painting, so this has a little bit of a soft spot in my heart. And the, boy, these are all gonna be really terrific. I'm excited about this. Really nice variety of artists, and, and this is gonna be a good competition. Boy, that's a beautiful piece, absolutely beautiful piece. It's so much fun to see how everybody presents themselves. Oh, that's interesting with the torn paper. That's that's uh, just an observation. Ooh, wow, look at that. Look at the use of color, really pushing color there. Nice, nice. Real gem of a painting. It's probably like a 10 by 10. I love a 10 by 10 size. Oh, wow, look at that. That is really beautiful. Ooh, so, so, so. oh, wow. Okay, there's gonna be a lot to talk about. I'm excited. So this is the episode before the semifinals. Now the sem semi semifinals, I should say. The semifinals are, oh, to me, the best episode of all. We get to see all the winners of the episodes compete against each other, and only three of those people go on to the final. Uh, so this contest. is Wanumi Masakao, and she is, I believe, an actress. I'm not sure, and she is. <laughs> She's going to be exciting to paint. I love the I love the headdress on her head and all of that. All right, so they turn their easels around after four hours, and we get our first look at the paintings of her. Three people have painted her. That's a beautiful painting. I like to judge things just based on is it a good painting. Although this is um, Portrait Artist of the Year, I don't think it has a resemblance to her, but it's a beautiful painting. There's nice light play on the face, and uh, just very beautifully done, nice proportions. This person understands the, the planes of the face and the proportions that are involved, but, but like I said, it, it does not resemble her as a portrait of her specifically. I don't know if that matters. Here's a much more stylized version of how to interpret somebody. Uh, again, this doesn't have a, a resemblance to her. Really heavily, heavily leaning on the red and the green as its complementary color, which is a smart thing to do it's just an interesting style with a lot of blending. So you don't see individual patches of paint that constitute shape. The person's done all the blending for that. And here is a fantastic drawing. We saw her portrait that she did when we, they were holding up their self-portraits at the beginning and she just, she just knows how to draw in an incredible way. So one of these is going to go home with a model, and we don't know which one that's going to be, and it doesn't have anything to do with the final judging. It's just an honor to be chosen. So let's see. Oh, she picks this one. Well, that's lovely. It's a lovely painting of uh, somebody. I just don't think it's a painting of her, but that sometimes doesn't matter. Deborah Finley is our next model up. Deborah Finley is an actress in the United Kingdom, so she's very well known there. Very familiar face to me as well, because I do watch a lot of BBC and also Acorn TV. So, four hours in, the artists turn their easels around. She gets her first look, as do we. This could be a good group of painters. Let's see the first one up. Oh boy, that's fantastic. That's a beautiful job. And hey, look, sure looks like her too. Nice, really nice. Uh, this is, this is a strong contender for winning the episode for sure. It's, it's, this person clearly knows how to draw as well as uh, apply paint and layer and, and produce forms. Here's a little detail. I just thought this was so beautiful. This is what really interests me about painting when you can use just a little dab of something in order to describe a, a shape or a pattern. So simple, but beautifully done. Here's another example of where someone did use color and value in order to establish shapes. I'm not crazy about the palette, but that's just a choice for me. If I could have slipped this person different colors for their palette, I just would have liked it better. But that's, but it's a beautiful job. I also think it has a resemblance to her. So this is a strong group. Look at all the individual decisions made in those eyes. You've got some yellows, you've got peach, you've got red. 
some of those grays lean toward blue. Here's another beautiful, beautiful drawing done with colored pencil. And clearly, this would have to have been done with the aid of an iPad or, or something nearby in order to get that kind of detail. You're not going to get that kind of detail just from using your observational skills. You know, our, our eye is just not capable of doing that kind of microscopic looking, which you can see happening there. But it's done to beautiful effect. Now, when we pull back, I think it's a little bit more interesting just because the final commission is a painting for a gallery or a piece of work for a gallery. And I don't think this is going to stand up to the scrutiny of in that setting. So let's see which one Deborah picks to take home. And she picks the beautiful drawing. And look how surprised the artist is. Yay, good for her. All right, nicely done. Now our last model is Owemid Jalili. And he is an actor and a comedian and was quite personable talking and gesticulating and whatnot, at least the parts that we saw. He was probably very still during the actual competition part. Four hours in, the artists turn their easels around and we get our first look. And oh boy, this is going to be another really strong group. This is, this is a darn good episode, especially since it's the one before our semifinals. Ah, uh, I love this painting. It's just a beautiful painting. It's got lots of gestural work. That's where you can feel the brush stroke, you know, the arm making those strokes. And look at those orange patches as highlights. That's very clever. Now, here's where someone did not overuse titanium white, and so the colors have remained very, very vivid and bright. Now, I, you see, I, I like that, whereas earlier I said I didn't like the palette that someone chose. It was because it, it, was, it was quite a dulled down palette. But that is absolutely subjective and has nothing to do with somebody's skills. So we didn't have enough time to finish, and we see that here, but that's a really strong painting. I think it's quite nice. They didn't spend a lot of time showing it to us, but they spent a lot of time showing us this one. Uh, this is a beautiful job, too. Really, really nice. Um, and does have a resemblance to the sitter. Um, yeah, I, not a lot to say about it. I guess because of how predominantly black the... Um, how much black is used in it? It's just not my personal preference, but really, it, it's very effective. And is and let's see what happens when we pull back. Yeah, it's really, really effective. See, that's gonna that's gonna work well in a gallery setting. Whereas the power of the drawing, just you know, the pencil drawing or the color pencil drawing, just isn't gonna do it. And I do want to give an honorable mention to one specific moment in this painting, <laughs> which is this moment coming up. The ear. I love this ear. Look at the color coming through the ear. I'm always trying to make that color. I use cadmium, cadmium red and a little bit of Naples yellow to make it, but I don't know what an oil painter uses. And this is sort of a mixed media work. This doesn't uh, resemble the sitter at all, and, and I think suffers because it just doesn't, isn't going to hold up on a gallery wall or for the commission of a famous celebrity at the end of the day. So I, I don't think this person's going to move on, but you know, I've been wrong plenty of times. They are looking for variety and this is a variety and someone who's willing to step outside the box. So good, good for you. Now, Omid is going to pick one to take home and let's see which one he picks. Ah, oh, he picks this one. I would pick it just for the ear. <laughs> I love that ear. It speaks to me. And now we get to the judging begins. Now this is the real judging. All the artists are lined up. There are nine of them. Only three will be chosen in terms of being the semifinalists for this episode, and only one will go forward to the semifinals, which is the next episode to come. So here's the first one. Very nice. I like it better in this slide than I did when it first showed up. But um, not, again, it's, it's uh, pretty cold. Oh, yeah, this is a beautiful painting. I, the reason I'm, there are a lot of reasons I'm saying it. I'm not going to get into it, except that there is a feeling of you get like an internal feeling of who this person is. Ah, this one, the drawing. I mean, that's impeccable. It's absolutely gorgeous, impeccable. But I don't think they're going to pick a drawing, which has nothing to do with that. This is probably the most skilled work that was done today. Now we get to see the self-portraits where they had plenty of time next to what they did today. So we can judge what they did in four hours next to what they're capable of doing when they have unlimited time. You can clearly see there's a difference. And so this person will absolutely be able to do the final commission and probably 
just nail it. Oh, I'm so surprised. I, boy, I did not realize that that's who had done this painting. The palette is so different on the self-portrait than it is on the one that he did today. I really like the self-portrait. I, I just simply, I just don't like the the color choices that he made today, but he's a great painter. They're both great painters. Oh my gosh, and this one. Okay, I'm not going to decide. I think all three should go forward. They're all fantastic, and uh, but unfortunately, the judges are going to have to pick one, but wow, I, I don't know that I've seen a better drawing ever. So now we get to the real nitty gritty. I mean, here we go. There, This is the final judging. There are three contestants. We get to see them together. One, two, three. Oh, they're all so good. But only one's going to go forward. And we're about to find out who it is. The winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Ah, this one. All right. Very good. It's a beautiful painting. My only quibble with it is that it just doesn't have a resemblance to the sitter. But that does not seem to be a factor. Or if it was a factor, the fact that it's a good painting was enough. Oh, and besides, we saw the, the self-portrait he did. He, he can do the job. So remember to keep the white your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, and mix for color. Uh, please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.